Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Omar, from buymeaniphone.com. Today I have another case I want to show you for the iPhone 4 and 4S. This is a relatively new case from X-Gear, and it is the X-Gear Fortress Aluminum Bumper Style Case. And uh, so this is the packaging that comes in. Kind of cool, it's like an actual like, tin. So I guess you can use it for other things if you wanted to. And uh, also included with this, they sent me the optional uh, carbon fiber backing, which is an additional $20. So let's go ahead and start off with that. This case retails for $80, $79.99, $80. And it does come with, uh, if you want, you can get the uh, carbon fiber uh, backing plate, which is actual carbon fiber and it's covered with a, with a, like a slick coating to kind of protect it a little bit. And uh, that's an additional 20 bucks. So $100 overall for the backing and for the, the bumper style, uh, bumper, aluminum bumper here. So you guys can see, it's basically similar to other styles you may have seen before. Um, element case, uh, atomic case. There's a bunch of other cases that have this real similar style to it, and they're also aluminum bumpers as well. So the Fortress is uh, it comes in a variety of colors, like orange, red, silver, black, blue. I have the blue one right here. A bunch of different colors. You guys can check those out on their website. So they had they sent me the blue one right here. Like I said, they sent me the black the black backing here. So let's go ahead and pop it on, and I'll uh, we'll go ahead and show you what kind of the highlights of this case. Now let's talk about the first one, and this is the biggest difference that you'll notice with. Um, the other style bumper style cases, they're aluminum bumpers, especially like the element case. Those other cases require screws. You have to usually take out two screws on each corner, and then that's how you take the, the pieces apart, and then you uh, put the phone in, and you have to screw them back in. So you could possibly lose those screws. You have to keep track of them. You always have to have a tool with you. So the addition, uh, that or the the uh, the thing that they've done with this case that made it so much better is that they only have a little clasp right here. So if you can see right there. There's a little clasp, there's a little hinge, you pop it open, and now that's it. That's all you need to do. So you can take this off of your phone at any time, which is really nice. That's one thing I couldn't stand about the Element case. Even though I, you know, I like that style case, if I want to take it off, I have to wait to get home, or I have to keep that little tool with me, the little Allen wrench tool to be able to remove it off. So this is kind of a, I don't think there's any, any other aluminum bumper cases that have this. So this little hinge here allows it to pop off, and you can remove it whenever you need to. So you can see there's some rubber rails inside there. On the inside, that kind of does a good job of protecting the corners and such. And it's in each each of the four corners. So that's kind of nice. Let's go ahead and pop it in here. And then I'll do the walk around with it in a second. So as you can see, just pop it like this. Actually, put it in the bottom P part right here. And you snap this one down. Make sure the uh, it lines up. There is a little bit of uh, play in it when it comes to moving forward and back. So you have to make sure it's on there pretty evenly. So you just squeeze it and then you snap it on. And then that's it. So that's pretty much all there is. And so once it's snapped on, it's not going to go anywhere. It does feel like it moves forward and back a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. <clears throat> so pretty nice. And so then you put the, you know, the, this is just a, has a sticker on the back of it, this carbon fiber. Carbon fiber looks real sharp, real nice. So once it's on your uh, on your phone, let's go ahead and talk about the accessibility. So as you can see on the top here, we have the headphone jack. It's a smaller opening, so you might you will need some like either the headphones with the recess plug on there, a smaller recess plug, or maybe just an adapter to use with your regular headphones. It's not covering up the secondary microphone as well. It does block over the standby switch, but it, there's a nice aluminum button right there, so you can still feel the click when you press on it, which is real nice. Get to the side, nice big opening right there on the side. And uh, so that's, that'll work with uh, the Verizon and the at and iPhone 4, as well as the, uh, the uh, iPhone 4S. And as you can see, the volume buttons are not being covered up, so everything's pretty much open and accessible. Has a little x, -Gear la x -Gear logo on there, kind of nice. Get to the bottom here, and so this is where the dock connector is a little bit smaller. Um, it's, it's not one big opening, so the, it's, it's a bigger opening for the bottom where the connector is, and then there's two small slits for the microphone and the speaker. Uh, I did notice that some of my, uh, my plugs, my 30-pin connectors, were not able to fit in there as well. Um, so that may be the case for you guys. I know for the one in my vehicle, which is really large, it's, it's, it's taller. It wouldn't, I wasn't able to plug it into here. Um, so, but it will it will fit other connectors besides the the Apple included one, the really small one that Apple gives you with your iPhone four. But um, if you have a really large one like the one I use, um, you'll probably have some issues with that. So, uh, get to the front. There's nothing coming up at the front at all, and it's not there's not much of a lay on the table design. It's pretty flush, so you, you guys can see there. So if you do place it face down, you are it is probably touching the screen right there. So just keep that in mind. If you were dropping this face forward, you would probably uh, crack the screen pretty easily. So get to the back, 
Uh, if you do have the carbon fiber piece, this pretty much covers the whole thing up except for the camera and leaves it open for the flash. So, and, and this is so flat and so thin that your, your camera flash is not gonna bounce off the edge of that. So you should be fine with the camera, okay? So overall guys, it's a really cool looking case, really sharp, really nice. Um, the one complaint I will have about this, and this is an issue with any aluminum case out there, um, is reception. And I did, I did notice some, some definite, obvious uh, signal loss when I was using this, even with Wi-Fi, which I find is kind of strange. I'm not sure why. I mean, I'm, maybe they, they use the same antenna or the same, it's the same area for using Wi-Fi. I really don't know the, the technical aspects of that. But I did notice when I was in my home that I was probably about two bars lower than usual. And that for some reason, when I was in the furthest room of the house, my Wi-Fi would disconnect. Like I wasn't able to connect to my Wi-Fi um, in, the, in the home. So that was kind of strange. And I did notice this at work as well. So that is just an issue that this kind of you gotta have to face when it comes to using aluminum bumpers. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna be a, a situation for everybody that uses this case, but it was definitely a, an obvious um, problem that I was having with it. So for that reason, I, I don't think I can continue using this on a regular basis. I think I would probably put it on here once in a while just if I wanted to you know, keep it nice and uh, looking sharp. But uh, on a regular basis, I don't think I would leave it on my case just because of that issue. So. So that's kind of a bummer, but that's basically, uh, that's the only negative I have to say about it. Besides that, it's a really cool looking case. It does not have much bulk at all. It's pretty lightweight. And there's times when I would have this in my pocket, I, it almost felt like I didn't have a case on it because it's just, all it is is just around the edge and it feels kind of similar to the iPhone. It's real, and it's real um, tight. It doesn't feel loose or anything. So, you know, it, re it really doesn't feel like you're adding much to it. So it's definitely protecting the sides and the corners and the edges. Uh, the back a little bit from scratches and the front I mean, not so much like I said there's not much of a lip on there or anything so if it was a drop face down you could possibly still bang up the screen a little bit but uh, overall a pretty nice flashy looking case and they had, like I said they come in a bunch of different colors so if you guys are interested in checking this out you can go to xgearlive.com is where you can go uh, like I said this retails for $79.99 for just the bumper additional $20 for the uh, carbon fiber backing and it comes in a variety of colors as well so guys, if you personally own this product, why don't you post a comment below. Tell us how your experience has been with it. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And uh, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at Omar Correa. If you want to follow us on the website, uh, you can follow us at Buy Me an iPhone. So I'll see you guys in the next video review.